All right, it is time for another week of thrift finds. Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the bell so you know when I'm coming out with new videos. And if you're returning, thank you as always. What I do in this uh, weekly video series, I go into Goodwills and thrift stores and I find items that we can buy for a low amount and turn around and flip online like on eBay for a big profit. So today's Saturday, um, the parking lot, I don't know if you can tell, but it's really packed back there. Um, I, I haven't had to park this far down near the buggy corral ever, so I don't I don't know what's going on. But I do pretty well on Saturdays on my Goodwills. My Goodwills tell me they put out a lot more stuff on Saturdays because they know that they get a lot more people come in. So this one is the one that has been extremely overpriced, where they're charging fifty, sixty dollars for used, beat up Nike shoes. Um, but even when thrift stores do that, they still miss stuff. They don't know everything. So let's get inside and find those treasures that they've missed. All right, so as I walk in, I see these um, Nike uh, shoes sitting on top of a rack. $44.99 for a pair of worn-out Nikes. Here's another beat-up pair of Nikes. Anybody want to guess how much? $44.99. You've got to be kidding me. And now here's a pair of Brooks running shoes. These are great for resale, but not at $34.99. That is way too much. All right, so now we're down in electronics, and for $3.99, I run into five uh, AT&T home phones. Home phones still do really well. Um, these are all brand new, factory sealed on the inside, selling on eBay for about $25 to $26. So I'll go ahead and grab all five of those. And then I'd already put in the cart this Sony CD player. Um, I was surprised that the uh, comps on this, somebody sold just the faceplate for $36. Somebody sold the whole unit and faceplate for $70. So for $7.99, we grabbed that. Let's take a look at what I got. I did really good. Uh, this entire bag down here is full of these brand new AT&T phones. For some reason, they cut off the UPC codes on them, but I did look them up. All these are brand new. They were only $3.99 each. I think for this one here, I can get around 18 to 20, maybe even a little more, but I've got six of them total, and at $4, I should be able to make a little bit of money off of each one. All right, some of these prices, I'm just going to have to go off the top of my head, um, but I will flash them on the screen. This Sony CD player it looks like it's got Sirius XM, Bluetooth. These things used uh, sell for around forty to forty-five dollars. Paid eight bucks for this. I do really well with car stereos. If you've ever watched my channel, especially the factory ones, I do extremely well with those. Um, this is just the Aura Gel. I paid five dollars for it. Somebody's selling a two-pack on eBay for eighteen, so that's a three-pack. So probably might ask twenty. 325 somewhere in there and then this might be a really good score i got to do a little more um research it's nordic wear i did have to pay ten dollars for this thing um i guess it's new there's some dirt in there but yeah i don't think it's ever been used it's brand new that's just some dirt but somebody sold one of these used for like i think it was 25 or 35 dollars so what, I could get 50, 60 for this? Maybe? I don't know. We'll do, we'll, more to come on that. And then the last thing I got, y'all saw how overpriced this Goodwill was. But even with it being overpriced, I still found all of this stuff that they kind of missed. I did have to pay $25 for these FootJoy golf shoes. FootJoy is an extremely good brand. They have a huge following. There are no new FootJoys of this model um, anywhere on eBay. Somebody did sell a new pair at some point for $70. I'm probably going to ask upwards of 90 to 100 for these and put best offer on it because they are brand new in the box. Uh, I did have to pay $25 for that. All right, on to the next. All right, so it's a few days later and I've returned back to the same Goodwill. I'm up here in the glass case. This is where they keep what they think are the valuable things. I'm just kind of looking around. Most of the shoes in here are like $50. or just really not worth um, picking up. But I come over here and I see this knife set. I've done really well with knife sets. And then all of a sudden I see the silverware. I'm like, oh, can this please be sterling silver? But unfortunately, as I flip it over, it's uh, stainless steel. But always check those out. If you ever uh, run into some silver, uh, sterling silver, you've hit it big. Uh, again, knife sets can be worth a lot of money. This was an off-brand name, so uh, no real value here with the Cambridge. I mean, it's a decent set, but it's there's no resale value with it being used. All right, so now we're down in the sporting goods section, and I run across this Easton S3 bat. Uh, normally, I pick these up for $3.99, but of course, my greedy Goodwill wants $9.99 for it. Only selling for about $20 to $25 online. All 
All right, so now we're down in the electronics section. I spot two PS2s, but I know not to get excited. <laughs> $49.99 each is what my Goodwill's asking for them. The PS2 Slims can go for a decent amount of money, so definitely be on the lookout for those, but $49.99 for those two are definitely not worth it. All right, next up I find this Ouija board, and a lot of times these can go for some good money, the vintage one. This one glowed in the dark, so I was like, hey, I better look this up. Uh, they only sell for about $15 to $19, and Goodwill wanted five bucks. All right, anybody need a brand new mailbox? Uh, Goodwill's got you covered. Brand new factory seal. This would have been a good find, selling for about $45 to $50 online, but of course, Goodwill wants $24.99. All right, so next up we have these Gottinger candy cane uh, salad servers. These were $5.99. I did go and pick them up, and I got them listed for $30, and I already have two watchers on it. All right, now check this out. For $5.99, a flower watering can purse. Now, who doesn't need one of these? All right, we're now down in the shoe section. I run across these Doc Martin floral women's lace-up boots. Uh, these made it worth the trip right here. $14.99 is your Goodwill price on these, and they're selling for about $70 to $80 on eBay. All right, y'all saw the crazy prices in there, but we still found two things. Um, one thing I got is this Gottinger um, salad server set. Right now, we're in the middle of January. This is the best time to pick up Christmas stuff. Of course, $5.99 is a little much for that. Not 100% sure what I can get for this, but probably around Christmas time, 30, 35. But right now, January, February, people donate a ton of their Christmas stuff that um, they don't want anymore. And that's the best time to buy it. And Christmas stuff will sell year, year round. And if it doesn't, it'll always sell in November, December. So definitely grab those. And then probably the find of the trip, well, definitely the find of the trip, are these. Anytime you see that tag right there, that's Doc Martens. Um, these are a floral pattern, Doc Martens. They are used, but they're in very good condition. I didn't want to pay the $14.99 for them, but they'll sell between $60 and $70. And these, um, you know, as I'm looking at them out here in the light, they are in ex exceptional condition. I mean, you can look at the treads. It looks like they were hardly ever worn. So I sell Doc Martens all the time. I do extremely well with them. They're usually a pretty fast mover if you're pricing them the right way, but you also got to get them at a good price too because thrift stores know about Doc Martens now. But they miss these, so that's why you, you always got to go in to see what they got. All right, let's go find another thrift store. All right, y'all, next stop, Goodwill. I am super excited about this one. This one is like a brand new one. I think it's only been open for a few months, so... Let's get in and see what treasures await us. All right, I'm out of the Goodwill. Sorry I didn't really get any in-store footage, but I was finding so much good stuff. <laughs> I was willing to just keep going and find every uh, all the good stuff that I could. So, so I got a bunch of stuff in the trunk. Um, so we'll go back home and then I'll show y'all what all I got. So I'll see y'all at home now. All right, guys, we have made it back home. Let's take a look at what we got. We did really, really well, or at least I feel like we did. I got two of these, if y'all aren't familiar with these. These are drums that go to the Nerf guns. This one is called the N-Strike Elite. Um, these things were only $1.49 a piece. There's the other one. These sell for about $25 each. These actually have bullets in them. You don't even have to have the bullets in them to get 25, so I might be able to get a couple more dollars because most of mine has some bullets in them. Next up, I got this Hoover, I'm not sure what this goes to, but it's a battery, maybe for like a handheld vacuum. It was $5.99. I believe I can get around $40 or $45 for that. All right, next up, we have this really cool Michael Jordan uh, cup here. I'm not even real sure who it's made by because they got the sticker covering it up. Oh, well, it's made by Upper Deck. Uh, don't know if this is worth anything, but it was only 89 cents and Michael Jordan was my favorite basketball player growing up So I went ahead and grabbed that. I'll I'll put uh, something on the screen to show you what this is worth. All right Sorry, I had to shut the garage door So the lighting may not be quite as good as it was a minute ago, but my neighbors are playing basketball um, Next up I got this scruffy sparkle um, It's brand new, but as you can tell the box is kind of torn up a little bit um it's uh, still zip tied in there, so I don't believe it's ever been used. Looks like on this, somebody sold one used for 20, so I should be able to get, you know, 30, 40 out of it, I would think, and I paid 299. All right, next up, we have this HP um, LaserJet. 
ink toner. It was $4.99. It's brand new, factory sealed. Pretty sure I can get about 35 out of this. All right, not real sure on these. These were only, what is the price? These were only $3. Um, let me get you over here in some light. Uh, disregard the garage. <laughs> Sorry, as you can tell, I store a lot of boxes down here for selling stuff online, so I always have a box. These are called Hello Neighbor. I've never heard or seen of these before, but it looks like they sell for like eight, nine dollars a piece. Um, and I'm hoping I'll be able to just allot all these together and maybe get 25, 30 dollars, maybe even more for it. So more to come on these, gotta do some more research. All right, here's kind of a no-brainer. This is just a uh, digital picture frame. It was six dollars, but on Amazon, it has extremely low rank, which means it sells really quick. It's brand new, factory sealed. Uh, I'll send this in. I think my net profit on this will be around 17. Um, so when you subtract my six, I'll make about $10 off that. All right, next up, I got this DVD. This is the Eagles Farewell uh, Tour. It was only $4.99. Uh, it only sell for about $18, but I bought this because I like the Eagles and I wouldn't mind watching it. And then I'll turn around and sell it. So enjoy something and then flip it and make some money on it. All right, last but not least, probably the best find of the day. This is a Magic Chef uh, Cool Touch Heart Waffle Maker. So I guess it makes your waffles in the shapes of hearts, as you can see there. This is brand new sealed on the inside. I think this is vintage, or at least it's older. Don't know what year it was made in, but looking up Magic Chef, there's some used ones for $30 and $40. So with this one being, being brand new, I might aim anywhere between 60 or 80 on this and we'll see what happens. All right, appreciate everybody watching this video. I hope you enjoyed all the cool thrift finds we found this week. Uh, don't forget to go and smash that like button. That really does help out my videos. So if you would go and do that, I'd appreciate it. And if you hadn't already, subscribe and hit that bell so you know when I'm coming out with new videos. As always, I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget if you're new, you can click right here and you can binge watch all my Goodwill hauls from the past or watch as many as you like. Until next time, Good luck out there reselling, and I'll see you in the next video.